Welcome to Your Perfect Cat. I'm Kathy, and this time we're going to talk about developing your cat's confidence. This is going to be really important uh, when it comes to training your cat uh, to do anything, actually, uh, but particularly uh, if you want to train your cat to uh, go places, you know, walk outside, uh, take your cat to the store, um, you know, nature walks, or even travel. So one of the first things that you want to look at is um, look at what your concerns are. Uh, right now we're going to deal with you and not with your cat. So, you know, are you afraid of losing your cat? Uh, are you afraid of your cat getting loose? You know, maybe you don't know how your cat's going to react when you take them out. And it's really hard to know until you actually do it. And perhaps you don't know exactly how to handle your cat's fear. So if you're afraid of losing your cat, one of the first things that you want to get is an escape proof harness. And one of the best out there is this one shown here, uh, which is made by Surfer Cat. If you want to find out more about harnesses, I have an entire video just about what kind of harnesses are going to work the best and particularly what's so special about the Surfer Cat harness. Now, also, if you're afraid of losing your cat, you might want to get a geo tracker, uh, like the GeoBit, which I think is how it's pronounced. And as you can see on Val here, that funny sort of triangular shaped gray item, that is his GeoBit. And they're really amazing. And you can track it with your phone and you it shows you your cat in relation to you and your phone. Uh, within about 25 feet and the um, phone can also make the geobit chirp so if you do lose your cat or you can't see your cat can't find your cat maybe even in the house uh, you can turn on the chirp and you will find your cat uh, by following that chirp also your cat will probably react to the chirp and come out of wherever they're at trying to figure out where that noise is coming from so there's many ways to use these geo trackers to help you keep track of your pet in case they do get away from you. Now, another thing that you can do if you don't know how your cat's going to react is um, have a safe space for your cat. So those could, it could be anything like a bag or these backpack carriers are kind of nice or a stroller. And you just have to teach your cat that it is a safe space and that they can go there anytime. Now, when you take your cat out, you're going to have to have one of these with you. What is nice about a bag or a backpack is that they're very easy to carry and lightweight. A stroller is going to be something that's a little bit bigger, you know, and just like with any stroller that you would have for a child, you're going to have to fold it up, put it in the car, pull it out, all of those things. Uh, it's not as convenient, but they do feel safe in it, and you can see uh, Val sitting in the stroller, um, feeling pretty safe. And you can see Finn here sitting in the surfer cat training bag. Uh, it has a nice little bed in it and the cats, both cats love it. And it's very easy to train them to hop in the bag, uh, whenever they're feeling a little uncertain. And if you sense that they're being uncertain or a little fearful, you can always pick them up and put them into the bag or stroller or your backpack. One of the other things that you want to uh, learn to do with your cat is to be able to pick up the cat so the cat can't escape or scratch. And one of the best ones I've seen is from Surfer Cat and they call it their Surfer Cat Hold. And you'll see it in the picture. Uh, a great way to hold your cat. Now the cat cannot use its legs in this case to as leverage to jump off of you because your arm, your whole forearm is underneath their belly and their legs are dangling down. Uh, you're less likely to get scratched this way. They really um, are kind of at your mercy because they cannot get leverage to escape. Now, when it comes to building some confidence in your cat, you might be unsure of what your cat might react to. And in this case, you're gonna to wanna to watch your cat's body language cat is going to show you when he or she is afraid. You can kind of see in this picture, um, Finn had obviously
obviously his ears are back, so he heard something he's not quite so sure about. So he's ducked down a little bit more in the stroller than he might normally be. Normally he stands on the rim and half of the cat is outside the stroller. Now um, there are Val's a little bit more spooked, and so you can see that he's very small. He's kind of made himself tiny and he's kind of hunkered down. He can see out because there's mesh, so he's safe, but he's also, you can see his, um, the difference in how he behaves versus other pictures that you've seen previously. Okay, so to find out what your cat might react to, you're going to have to expose your cat to various situations. So not just, say, your yard, although your yard is a fairly safe space but other things. So you might find that your cat, like mine, um, Val here, is afraid of motorcycles. And he doesn't like motorcycles even when they are an entire block away. So they're not on our street, but he can hear them in the distance and they are on the, on the road, you know, on the other side of a whole row of houses. Um, he also tends to get spooked by really large SUVs, so certain loud noises um, kind of spook him. He's not that uh, friendly to other people, so he likes people that he knows, but not strangers. And he's, But he's not really afraid of dogs, so um, he is exposed to a dog here, and he likes the dog and so he doesn't mind if people are walking dogs but he minds the people so and your cat might be very different your cat might love people and might walk up to every person that you come across and just enjoy being petted and be completely spooked of dogs or other cats uh, it just depends a lot on your cat and going to have to pay attention to some of those things and then reassure the cat. Now, one of the things that I've learned um, by training the leash training the cat is that if I get down on his level when he's just slightly timid or unsure, I get down on his level and he will come to me where I can pet him and stroke him from his head down to his, you know, to his tail and he calms down and everything's fine and the people pass by with the dog with the children and everything's fine and after they're gone he goes about his business exploring the yard again so you might find that your cat um responds well that way uh also now i do want to note you know one of the things is cats really don't like the unknown it's it's just kind of the way they are. But exposure is going to reduce your cat's fearful reaction. So the more you expose your cat to different situations, the more confident your cat will be when they go out in the world. And it's gonna increase your confidence because you know exactly how your cat will react in specific situations that you've come across. And this is gonna be really important is going to help you and your cat um, be more confident. And one of the things that's really important to notice is that your cat is going to read your emotions. So if you are outside and you're not confident, your cat won't be either. But if you are confident, then your cat will be. So the things that built up my confidence with taking my cats out had to do with a um, escape proof harness. The geo bit was a big deal for me. Um, even with the escape proof harness, I was very worried about losing my cat. But with the geo bit and having my phone on me, I knew that, you know, should the cat get take off, and they can easily pull very hard and you can lose the leash and the leash is going to follow the cat that I could always find him and I'd already trained him to come to me um, when he was afraid 
So little things like that are going to make the biggest difference for you when training your cat to go places and to go on adventures. When you're starting out to take your cat to safe places, uh, anywhere where you have um, some control over the environment is going to be best. So start out small, your yard, your neighborhood, that kind of thing. Um, parks when they're not busy. Uh, pet stores boy. are really good. Every pet store yeah. will let your good let you bring in your cat, good boy. Uh, and it's going to be really good when you're first training if the store isn't super busy. Marvel. And Come then up. you can build up to good going boy. when there's a lot more activity yeah. in the pet store because good initially boy. your cat is good going boy. to be a Zing little comes. unsure of the activity. Now, if you happen to have a really bold cat, come, come, come. and I had one that was really Good bold, and he boy. loved the activity, and he yeah. loved people, Good it won't boy. matter whether you take your pet, whether you take your cat to the pet Same store when it's busy or not. Um, because that kind of cat's going to love it no matter what. Come, come, come. But the Good two cats that I have right now yeah. are a bit more timid. Good boy. And, Good boy. Um, it takes something comes. to build them up to going to different places Marvel, and come, come. you know with a little bit of patience boy. and yeah. some exposure you can get your cat to doing various comes. things going out for walks going to the store being excited Marvel, come, to come. do any one of those things and being thrilled to be in your yeah. company now like i said some cats are bold and very naturally unafraid and that's great uh, I wish my two cats were like um, two, two of the cats that I had before who were um, really friendly and bold. And they loved it when people came and they were curious and they got into everything. And it wasn't hard to take those cats in the car or to the store or to the vet or anywhere for that matter. But these uh, two that I have now are a bit more cautious and they tend to be afraid of many things and I've had some issues with both of them where they got spooked by something and then the training that we had you know all the training that we had accomplished now is it, there's many steps back because now they're not very eager to go out on a leash and they act even more afraid and so it's just a matter of being very patient and exposure and getting them used to going out again you know on one hand both both of my cats do want to go out they want that they want to go and see lizards and birds and have those kinds of experience and it is very intellectually stimulating for them and yet they're a little cautious because they've been spooked by something before, usually a loud car. So um, you just got to keep working with your cat. And ultimately, no matter what kind of personality your cat has, your cat will get used to and enjoy going out, going places, and being with you wherever you are so it could be you know the stores traveling and they will love that uh people wherever you go make a fuss over them as well so i hope you enjoyed this video on developing your cat's confidence uh thank you for watching uh be sure to leave a comment and subscribe and let me know how um your training is going uh, let me know if you've tried any of these tips and how they've worked or if you've had luck with um, something different that I didn't mention here. I look forward to hearing from you and thank you again.